Hey guys, Hermit the Crab here. Um, I'm coming to you with a quick fix on how to fix maybe a little bit of stream lag. If you're having any maybe trouble connecting to the servers whenever you're trying to test the servers uh, before going live. And I was noticing, um, I came upon this fix when I was uh, I noticed whenever I would test the stream, it would come back like a yellow. It didn't matter my upload speed. If I did anything higher than 2k bit rate, it would always come back yellow and tell me that was not suitable to stream. Well, I know my upload speed is a lot higher than that, and I never really thought too much of it. Well, today I stumbled upon a fix when I was going into the adapter settings. I'm going to show you first in Windows 8. However, it's not going to be on this computer. It um, it doesn't have the specific feature on this computer, but I will show you where to find it on Windows 8, and then I will tell you how to find it in Windows 7. But once I did this fix, now I can stream up to, I think I got up to 3750 bit rate with the, no problems whatsoever. It always stayed green with, all the time. Um, I was kind of amazed. So first, let me show you how to get to it. Um, if you're in Windows 8, you want to go to Settings, go to your Control Panel, hit Network, then go to your Network and Sharing Center. Next, you want to go to your Adapter Settings. And you, here you'll see all the adapters that you have to connect to the internet. Um, again, as I said, this is not gonna, it's not gonna have the setting on this computer uh, because I found this on the streaming PC. However, I'm just gonna show you how it works on Windows 8 because that's the most current edition. All right, so you go to here, you open up the, your ethernet uh, adapter. Then what you wanna do next is you go down here to properties. Let me show you how you can, you know, configure all this different things. Next, all you wanna do is go to right here to configure. And that's going to bring you to this window. It's kind of like the driver device window. Little settings for the, the card itself. Right now you want to go to the advanced tab. And if you scroll down right here above this, you will have a energy efficient ethernet. Energy efficient ethernet. And it will have an enable or disable. What I did is I went ahead and clicked that to disable. And um, that seemed to do the trick for me. Now, I looked up what energy efficient Ethernet was, and it seemed like it was something that was supposed to be used for computers in a business setting, you know, when you have a whole bunch of computers in there to conserve, you know, power, obviously. Uh, but this seemed to be restricting my speed whenever doing the uploading to the Twitch server, so, uh, hey, whatever works, right? In addition to this, another thing I would recommend for you to do, at least that's worked for me. As I said, this probably is not going to work for everybody, but this, this is what worked for me is you also want to go to speed and duplex and go ahead and uh, take it off automatic put it on either 100 or 1 gig whatever you want to either one of those it's just another little tutorial I saw online somewhere and it seemed to help me out as as well so I, th I thought I'd throw that in there for you guys as well while you're in there so you want to enable all that make it work and you know have a great time now I'll tell you how to do it on Windows 7 alright uh, Windows 7 is a little bit easier down, what you would do at the, down at the bottom, you have the little network icon, the bottom right of the taskbar. So you'll just right-click that, go to Open Network and Sharing Center. Then you want to go to Change Adapter Settings at the top left under Control Panel Home. I know you can't see this, but I wish you get the idea. Next, you'll see the two adapters like we did in Windows 8. You right-click it, go to Properties, just like we did in Windows 8. Go to Configure, and then it'll be right there. Same tab, just like in Windows 8, just a little bit different path to get there. And you can change everything. You might you click OK. Um, it will knock you off the internet for a moment, so don't be alarmed. But when it comes back on, you'll be good to go. All right, hope this helps. Until next time, guys.